I don't think there's any comparison you can make. Um, really, any of them out there that have been at different places throughout their careers. The best you can do is take my experiences, and this is me personally, uh, which are on a smaller level than we're talking about with Coach Saban. It's just um, great ones that have been at places. Chris Peterson at Blue Dove, um, Jeff Tedford, and Pat Hill at Fresno, and others on down the line. I think embracing everything about it that has made that place great, and especially uh, the great people, and in these particular cases, the great head coaches. Embracing that, learning as quickly as possible, um, trying to make as few mistakes as far as losing the traditions that are important to the fan base, to the players, and all those types of things. Um, you know, I think that's that's what you can do. That's all you can ask for yourself is just embrace, embrace all of it that comes along with you know, to be in this position. Coach Coach Moore, talk about the Yeah, um, yeah, I mean, you know, we went in not now 24 hours ago. We kind of got, it, got offered an opportunity here. Um, I certainly have a strong uh, feeling of what I'd like to do, uh, but I, I don't want to get too much into that. I think we're going to in some capacity quicker here in the next day or so, 24 hours. Um, but I want to be very thorough. The, the fine line with that is that uh, as players, you know, uh, are being sought after on our own roster, there's less people to get in front of them. And so um, you know, I'm working tirelessly to manage who we have here, have one-on-ones, group meetings. I've done that a bunch already um, last night and today. Um, so I'll work on getting the staff in order very quickly. And, uh, there'll be a touch of uh, Washington in there, um, you know, but uh, I'm certainly open to um, and kind of hitting on even maybe what um, Greg was, was, was discussing with you when I showed up here. Um, you know, I understand there needs to be some SEC ties, some Southeast ties that um, can help bridge the gap of maybe my experiences here. There are experiences uh, having been West Coast and you know, Indiana and just some of the recruiting, but it's not, I don't want to lead you on that there's not, um, you know, every coach's phone number in my phone right now. I just got to put myself a spot where the right people are around me. Um, and I will say this, I wasn't a West Coast guy either. You know, I didn't, I'd never been to the West Coast until just a few years ago. And uh, coached at two universities out there. So I think there's an ability to adapt um, that I feel confident in uh, to where we're at. Um, I understand uh, what the SEC is all about. And, and uh, you know, kind of how, how strong, how much it means in that. Coach, you know, the pitch so far to tell guys to not go into the portal, and how real is the threat right now of opposing programs and others trying to post guys off the roster? Yeah, it's it's real. It's real strong. It's really strong. Um, I mean, I don't care where where you're at. If you, if you see an opportunity to, to add to your team, um, and especially if it might hurt uh, one of your competitors, you're going to do that. And uh, um, unfortunately, um, you know, that's the situation that uh, college football, college athletics is in right now where, you know, those things can happen pretty quickly. And in some, many cases, there's not much uh, as far as consequences if you're not handling things the right way. <coughs> uh, but um, what was the first part of your question? Just what's your pitch to the players oh, yeah. so that they don't go into the portal? Right? Yeah, I think I, I try to show them uh, a little bit of my vision. Um, but I, I've also told them that I understand you can't buy into my vision until you truly know me. So just give me a chance. Give me a chance to show you a few of the things. I'm going to listen to you. Um, I'm going to meet you where you're at right now and uh, try to try to show them through some proof of things that have happened, um, whether it's out in Washington or we haven't got into much beyond that, but what this will look like, um, how great it will be um, to be out there in the football field because of uh, what we're doing schematically, because of the people that are going to be around you as you, um, you know, show up in the weight room for that workout, and, um, the people that are around you from a coaching staff standpoint developing you. Um, show them that, uh, you know, their development, what we've done with guys moving on to the NFL in the past and how we do that, um, that is special. And coach, yeah. your, your philosophy offensively, uh, you mentioned some of your mentors a little bit in the press conference, but who kind of shaped what you do offensively in being so explosive and throwing the ball down the field? Um, I, I, there's probably, I mean, it's not 100, but there's a lot of stuff. And now today's age of film and how accessible it all is, um, it's 
it's not like I've just sat with one person or a few people. Um, I've been doing it for over 20 years, and I think um, being with some people that are driven and motivated to do it the best um, has helped push me and putting a system together over 20 plus years that allows us to have the flexibility to, you know, to do something from one year to the other that fits our personnel. Um, we're able to do that. Um, I mean, you know, just most recently, um, you know, I think you look at our staff that we had at uh, Washington, and it's a group of guys that just co co are so cohesive. They built on the system I put in place. Um, head coach wise, uh, Jeff Tedford would be someone I would, you know, throw out there. We were together here in 2017 in the stadium. It wasn't uh, one that I want to remember. Um, <laughs> kind of a long day, but um, I think there were some things even that day that um, we did that were pretty well um, schematically. And so um, there's there's just a lot of pieces that go into it. A lot of different mentors, some mentors from a head coach, but you were asking specifically from an offensive standpoint. What are the more guys you look for in a quarterback? Um, I mean, I think it's got to be someone who's a great leader. Um, you know, we've won different ways. We won national championships with guys who, um, you know, would rather run before throw, and won it with guys who, would, you know, are pure pocket passers and not very mobile. Um, I think again, a flexibility of our offense to work around the personnel is huge. Our, our offense would be quarterback driven, um, and we need to make sure though that the skill around him uh, is all a threat. Uh, to score from anywhere on the football field. Um, I understand sometimes a tight end or something like that might not be that, but that person's on a field for a purpose to help us be explosive. And then everything art starts up front, you know, with our offensive line. Coach, Coach what are the, the biggest lessons you've learned? That you would embrace as much involvement from Coach Saban as you can get, at least for the time being. Is, is that accurate? And how much help do you think he, he could provide in whatever various ways? I rang him up this morning. <laughs> so, um, I talked to him yesterday, and that was uh, kind of an introductory call just to, to get some insight, but um, just some insight on a few things. And, um, you know, uh, I, I feel like I feel, I feel confident enough in my abilities, um, along with knowing that you have someone that wants this program to be so successful. I, I firmly 100% believe that he wants nothing but the best. You know, some leaders and some people, when they leave, it's like, eh, you know what? Uh, you know, I, I want to be that legend, and I don't want it to be as good as it was when I was there. That's obviously not the case. I think all of you would know that. He wants this thing to be even better, um, and we can always look to. I mean, his his legendary status will never be questioned. We saw Corbin Oregon on the plane today. Why is it so important to have him make a trip? And what do you see his role? He, he's just so tied into everyone in the recruiting world, um, players, staff members. Um, he knows a lot of this roster, and I mean, there's there are parents of players on this roster that he's got their numbers and talking with them right now, trying to just um, probably alluding to you know what we're trying to accomplish right now and holding people in place and, and not getting too antsy. When did you know that last one, guys? So, I mean, when did it spin out to that I want to go to Alabama? Well, everything with the opportunity happened so fast, and, you know, yesterday morning, um, you know, that was the case. So I, I honestly had to really think through that um, the night before. And, um, you know, that's, that's um, you know, when you've done some things in a special way, and uh, I've been embraced by so many people at in Seattle. You know, I knew this was the right move. I knew this was a thing, uh, not that I had to do, but that I really wanted to do. Um, but it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. And that's not a knock on Alabama and everything it stands for. That's that's highlighting everything that uh, I feel so strong about back in Seattle at UW. Okay, guys, I appreciate it. I know there's more questions, but unfortunately the schedule with meetings and everything is incredibly tight today. We will circle back soon. Awesome. Thank, right, you guys. thank you. Thank you.